Hi everyone, my name is Omar Lakani and welcome back to my Java tutorials. So in this channel, I make Java videos every weekend. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. <clears throat> okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the Java compare to method. Compare to method. Uh, uh, why do we use it? What is Java compare to method, etc. Okay, so first of all, what is the Java compared to method? Well, basically, the Java compared to method basically compares two objects in the same class and it returns a and it return it and it returns the integer value and like a whether the integer value or the like the string or whether the string is uh less than less than the other object or greater than the other object or equal to the uh, other object and also and also it's gonna return uh so if like the uh the object like the first object or like the first variable is greater than the other variable then it's gonna print a positive number into the console but if like the uh yeah but if the string or the value the variable is less than the uh, the uh, other object the uh, value then it's gonna print a negative net a number but if the string or the value is the same then it's gonna print zero because it has zero characters of difference so if you're not un, uh, if you cannot like understand what i'm trying to say or you're just like confused or don't uh, understand don't worry i'm gonna be showing you some examples by using the java compare to method so that uh uh, so that I can make sure that you understand better without any confusion. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we'll write string a is equals to five. Oh, sorry, string a is equals to magic, and then semicolon, and then string. Uh, oops, string b is equals to any uh, random uh, uh, string, any random text. So car, and then, yeah. And then to compare these two objects or these two variables or these two texts, we have to pre uh, use the system.o.println and then inside the parentheses of the system.o.println, you have to write compare uh, the first variable name. So I named it a. So a is so write a your for your uh, variable name, the first variable name, or any variable name dot compare. So compare c o m p a r e then two. And also uh, you have to put the capital T. Else Java it's is gonna think like it's a variable name or it's undefined for the type string and it's also gonna uh, like uh, tell you like it, it's gonna tell you the problem like it's it cannot be uh, like defined for the type string so for that you have to use the T capital because Java is gonna think it's a it's a variable name or a string or stuff like that. So it's that's why it's necessary to put the capital T or and if you forget to put it, it's gonna give you an error. Okay, so in the parentheses, you simply have to write the variable name that you want to compare with. So I want to compare the variable a with the variable b. So in the right inside the parentheses, that the variable you want or the value you want to be compared. So and then ten. So which basically means, so like look, string a, a dot compared to b. So it means that magic is uh, so like magic is uh, so let's see if magic is greater than car yes car has only three characters but magic has like one two three four five characters so 
so yeah so magic is gonna be greater than the car right so if it's if it is greater than it's gonna print a positive number which it obviously did yeah uh, it printed out 10 because it has i don't know like a 10 characters of difference but if you put the same uh, very uh the same text car car it's gonna print zero because it has zero characters of difference it's literally the same thing and if it's equal it's hundred uh, percent yeah it will hundred percent like uh print zero no matter what but if you put like career like this then it's gonna print three because one uh, so because you added three more characters in car which basically became career so one two three so you added three more characters you added three extra like characters so that's why it's printing out so that's why it's printing out three uh wait let me just like uh yeah, like this. Look, that's why it is printing three because it had because it has three more like uh, extra characters. Okay, so career car. So uh, we can also add another variable. So we uh, that we can name it string c is equals to um book. So book. And then semicolon. So you can also do it like this: a dot compare to b, and then system dot dot print ln, and then you can simply do a a dot uh, no sorry b dot compare to, and then a b dot compare to c. So yeah, you can just like literally compare those two variable names and it's gonna print for you. So if you don't trust me, look, a dot compared to b, so career and car. So it has three characters of difference, three and one. And the, the car and book, it is one because it has one character of difference so car it has three characters and book has one two three four so four minus three is one so it has one character of difference so we can add like a lot of characters you know so string uh, d is equals to omir my name and then look you can compare a lot like system data dot print ln compare oops not in the quotation mark sorry compare oh, oh you have to write so i want to compare the variable c with the variable d so for that i have to write c dot uh sorry compare to and then in the parentheses and also by the way i forgot to mention that you have to put the parentheses in the compare to method because it's a built-in method and i've already told you guys if it is a if like if it is a built-in method you have to always put parentheses because it might be useful or it will be just like the food for the method so here it was useful to put the variable names so yeah compare to and then a so so when i run it it's gonna print three one negative one so career and car it has three characters of difference um let me just yeah so as you can see here career and car has three characters of difference book and uh sorry career and car has three characters of difference car and book has um one character of difference and book and umer has negative one of difference do you know do you want to know why because book has four characters and omer has five characters so uh four minus five is basically negative one so yeah it basically has negative one difference of characters because it's less than and i've already mentioned
Turn that if it's less than and it's gonna print out a negative number and yeah guys that was it for my video so make sure to like share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell too so that you won't miss out any of my videos and yeah guys have a nice day bye